Welcome to the Ignition Point. My name is Sean Finnegan. I'm Debbie Hart. And my man, Mike Calhoun, is in town. Oh my God. I love this guy, <laughs> and I, I I really love his... We were just talking about how great his voice is. Wait, do you hear yeah. his voice on this this show? Well, and now you're putting the pressure there on it. Me. <laughs> yeah. There it is. You, 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 you've, already, so you've already risen up to... To the pressure. I love this guy too because one, he runs an incredible mastermind. One of the mature ones with an incredible community and a movement. And I reached out to him and we did this event today where we had like-minded, great business owners in the room. And he lives in Florida and we were in Utah today doing this event. And he cares so much about relationships that he literally flew out early this morning from Florida, came to the event at noon, doing a wow. podcast now, and then he has a flight in a few hours, all in one day back from, to Florida. from East Coast one day. back to Florida. Yeah. You know, I think sometimes in your mind, you're like, eh, let's just get it done. But then when you're watching that tracker, because uh, you know, I'm sitting in my seat yeah. and I turn on the tracker, I'm like, damn, that's <laughs> yeah. far. Yeah, so far. Have you seen you know? Yeah, all the way across. But I'm halfway. Yeah, so. there you are. Okay, and now so, you're here. So this show, a lot of uh, people that watch this are entrepreneurs. So mm -hmm. you are one of the greatest networkers and relationship builders. What are the top three ways or the top ways someone, because I hear all the time word of mouth. I'm word of mouth. I'm referral based in my business, but they don't know how to do what you necessarily know how to do in the relationship building and networking. What, what are the keys? What are some key takeaways for you? The first step really is just to ask great questions. If I don't know anything about you, I need to know what makes you special. And you may think right now in my life, I ain't doing anything right. Nothing is going right. You're not confident about any iota of what is going on, but there is something there, mm. right? You mm. got up, you got to the studio. Mm. It doesn't really matter how you feel. There's something there that's gold. And I think for me, what I always try to find is everyone has some sort of edge of utility, right? Like if this guy goes, man, I haven't done anything but cut grass for 30 years. Well, well, there's some gold there. We can put some stuff together with that. He just doesn't know how to do it. So I think really what it is, is the most important thing is ask great questions, get down to the heart of what really matters to the person. It's also, what are their weaknesses? Because a lot of times in that inventory of asking questions, you go, wow, they've got some real competency over here, but they're really hurting over here. And then now you can start to plug in gaps and you mm. can, and you can show them that you care. Mm. Right. The other thing too is as you're initially kind of taking that inventory, always recite back like, so I, you know, I, I hear you're saying this or I, I understand or, or some sort of a rapport comment so they know you're getting it and, it and you'll literally watch them. It's like adding gas to the fire. Mm -hmm. Right. What do you think? What do you think of that? Yeah, that's it. so. Give us some examples of those great questions that people could ask. Actually, you and I just literally met. I've known Sean for a while. I would be wildly curious why. Why does Sean say you get so much done <laughs> yes. and make it look so yes. effortless? She's so that's she's, what you would she's ask. She's cloned. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> she must be cloned. How did you get this reputation? Yeah. Well, that's a great question. What else would you ask people? <laughs> oh, okay, good one. We're not here to interview me. Yeah, We're here to interview that's you. A good, but that was a that was a very smart, powerful question. It was. It was. Yeah. Because but I you would have a I would dive in yeah. and start, I guess, telling you some of the yeah. the feedback that I get from. Did people. you feel compelled to? Feel compelled, compelled to? Oh, answer compelled that. to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would. I would, yeah. that was very inviting and engaging. I yeah. would be happy to answer that and sit well, down with you. It was for also an hour. a compliment. Yeah. You know, you have a reputation that precedes you. We've never met, but he talks mm -hmm. very highly about you. Says that. You just get anything done. So you build people Why? up Master. first. You build people up first. You engage with them, and you're building connection with yeah, them. Yeah, and it's not. It's not a. You don't. You want to be so, real. Yeah, you pick, definitely. It's very easy to pick out something real, right? That you've noticed. It's not like, somebody. hey, nice hair. No, that, that's, that's too. Not real. It's, it's that's shallow. It, yeah, it's too identifiable. Shows a bond mm -hmm. between you and he. We're sitting in a in a room doing an interview. There's a bond there, and then your reputation precedes you. And I'm fascinated, and I want to know more. It's brilliant. So the, it the most common <laughs> thing I hear is, I don't know what to say. It's like to to some people, you go to an open room of business owners. That that, that sounds yeah. like death. I was like, that's the last thing I wanted. I don't even know what I say to him. Do I just launch into my pitch? And I think what your advice was, was yeah. so brilliant, which is first seek to understand like Stephen mm -hmm. R. Covey Always. Said, and then to be understood, right? But what, what if there do. was no introduction? What would be a great question you would start with for a new person with no introduction? I always, 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 a lot of my calls, a lot of my interactions are on the phone. I want to know where they're at. Where are you at? Where are you based? If I can get a feel for where they're based, uh, give me a city. Uh, I'd say Tampa. Love Tampa. I've actually lived there for almost 
30 years. <laughs> Have you been there? I haven't yet. Well, I definitely recommend you go. go. What we do is we find rapport. He's in Tampa. He hasn't been to the hottest spot. All of a sudden, you know, you make yeah. a recommendation, you give him a connection, you set him up for something special. Just find rapport. It doesn't matter what city. And let's just say, pick another city. Uh, let's say uh, Montana. Let's say Butte, Montana. Oh my God, I've never been there. <laughs> <laughs> well, now now he's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Like, tell oh me my about God, it. I've never, never been, been there. there. Yeah, tell me what it's like. What yeah. is that See, like? this is it. I think it's really about... First off, capturing their attention. Because if you don't have their attention, nothing is going to happen in the conversation. It's about capturing their attention, but it's about giving them fuel for... The conversation, right? I think you also hit on something too, is um, you have access. So a lot of people, I think the way they, like you specifically, you have hundreds of member members in this community of yours. And there's power in getting intros and making connections. And mm. people understand that. If I have a this business here and I can find an alignment, I mean, I can scale my business pretty quick. And so I think that's part of what your community brings is like people can engaging and find an alignment in their business, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you take like a real estate guy, they know everything about real estate and they, for example, have a couple hundred doors or maybe a couple thousand doors. And it's like, all right, so are you monetizing the actual tenant above or the ownership or the management? You know, like you start asking them questions beyond the rent. Mm. Okay, well, let me introduce you to a guy who can show you how to, through yeah. one policy. Powerful, bro. And he's like, tell me more. Yeah. You've got to give them something that makes them now want to ask you. Because until they want to hear it, they don't want to hear it. And you have to have something to back it up, though. Because I have to tell you, before I really started doing this, I feel like my Herculean effort of a 12-year run with Adobe on just... Sometimes I felt like Karate Kid out there waxing... Yeah, wax know, on, wax off. Yeah. The, the yeah. stuff in the junkyard, right? right? Like, what yeah, am yeah. I doing? But you really, over time, begin to build experience. And you just, everybody has experience with something. Mm. I mean, think about the kid sitting there playing video games. There are competitions where these kids make great money. Right. And now you have in-game purchases and monetization. I mean, we were just talking about, you know, monetization on YouTube and all the other platforms. Anything out there is possible. Mm. But you got to be able to see the gold. I could tell you, I, I know a lot of people that are in your group and they're all incredible business owners. You're a magnet. The whole group is a magnet for these incredible people. And every event that you do, I hear it's just this rumble effect. It's just like the ripple after the event. It's like, oh, I made this connection. It, it was like, mm -hmm. and Mike's doing this is this. And it's just like, it, it creates so much energy and so many joint ventures. So many businesses are aligned from what you do. You're making a massive impact. Well, I mean, I think uh, you're in competition for people's time as much as the dollar. Mm -hmm. Sure, people have to invest. Or, I mean, if they don't pay, they don't pay attention. And that goes for everybody. Any entrepreneur, CEO, founder, business owner, somebody starting a business, if they're not paying, they're not paying attention. That doesn't mean don't give them something away on the front end, but also draw the line. Because mm -hmm. I've always made that. I made that mistake very early on. I really wanted, let's say, a Sean Finnegan. So put something valuable on his plate and he still wouldn't maybe make a move. So I'd put something else. And then I now I'm six really good passes. Now I've trained him not to mm. move. You always got to give them something of value, but you also have them respect you, your process, your time, mm -hmm. your service, your platform. And when they invest, they, are, they will engage. And when they engage, they're going to be a better customer, mm -hmm. which is going to make your business a better business yeah a lot of people you know they talk about don't be transactional don't be transactional but if you do a transaction that's where the real relationship happens because i now get a gum to your events because i did a transaction with you i get access to your group i get access to your network and so all those things are how you actually build relationships deeper if you were selling your house and you were looking for a real estate agent, would you choose the one that had done more transactions or less? More. More. <laughs> more, right? Mike, how do they engage with BA? Like, what's the best way if they want to say, hey, this is a movement going on. I really want to engage. I want to get access to incredible people. What's the best yeah. way for them to do that? Well, they could go to apply BA and it, it, it's a consultation form. So what it does is it gives us information. The, it, it forces the individual to think and articulate you know, certain attributes about where they're at, what they're looking for, what do they bring to the table, if 
anything were possible, what would they like to achieve? You know, it's a data set. We call it a data set. As that comes across, before we even get on the phone with them, we may have something special for them in the sense of a resource, a connection, a strategy. It's it's something different every time. But if they give us the information on applyba.com, we will then come to that call. It's not a sales call. It's, are you valuable to us? Are we valuable to you? This is a good relationship. Here's what we can do to get started. Then it becomes about timing. Hmm. You know, then it becomes about the calendar. You know, at, at a certain point, the exchange of value becomes so great and it should become so great. That person says, I can do this boom on this date and that's it like they get Beautiful. to decide they want to do it in 10 days they want to do it in 30 days fine they could go to call with mike.com too if they just wanted to go straight to my calendar mm -hmm. process is built for performance sometimes if you if you feel like somebody has competence trust their process oh, nice. man you gave some incredible yeah. advice today thanks so that much was for good. being on the show thank brother. you yeah i really appreciate it absolutely you came all the way out from florida just to chill. Some incredible knowledge man <laughs> yeah. i love it i appreciate it so much and to network absolute pleasure <laughs> thank you man yeah you got it if any of you watching today have any doubts that your current cpa is not helping you take 100 percent advantage of the deductions you deserve and helping you stay compliant with the IRS, then don't hesitate to get involved with TaxHive today. You won't be disappointed.